young children, age three, one and a half, and a newborn. And there was a terrible argument between my husband and I, and we separated for a time. And I, I thought this was it. I thought, this is it. This is the point of no return. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if it involved another woman. We were apart. It was a short time. I never asked, but I never thought during that time that we would ever get together, but we did. We, we reconciled, and we had two more beautiful children. And I'm not saying it's going to be a happy ending for me. Mm -hmm. There's been so many struggles. It is really hard to be in a long-term marriage these days. Mm -hmm. There's just too many temptations on both sides. There's too many struggles. There's financial struggles. There's struggles with children. There have been struggles with illness. Um, there's been struggles raising a child. My youngest has autism. It is just unbelievable um, to have these types of things thrown into your life and think that you're going to be one of those few that make it to 25 or past. Mm -hmm. So I'm sort of optimistic, but yes, the STD is really a big issue. Darth, you're sure, fucking, sure, sure. uh, like, you've gotten so fucking lazy. It's like a cat that used to, like, to, like, chase mice around, like, go mice hunting. You've gotten so fucking lazy, like a fat old cat that, like, won't even get up off their ass. Like, you have to, if, if you want to see the fat old cat play with a mouse, you have to, like, break its leg and put it, hand it to the cat because the cat doesn't want to get up. And if the mouse, like, fights too much, like, if they ask, the mouse asks a question, then you just, like, walk away from them. You don't even want to deal with it. You just fucking sit there until somebody else brings you a mouse with a fucking broken leg. Right. Uh, before you play How that bot. How many bot. times do we have to see this? Oh, fuck. This is what happens is they start an argument and they continue to over talk and they try to scurry down a they try to segue down a semi-related path to art to start an argument okay wow. and he was warned and then they multiple get times being argumentative okay see he said so, scurry these I'll mice you can't hunt mice that are scurrying and only if they just sit there <laughs> okay now he, that sounds he's pretty maintaining accurate. that he is agency in virtue that there are causal relations and connections. But when I asked him to give an account of causal relations and connections as a prerequisite for agency, he committed a fallacy begging the question. Invoking sense perception implicitly contains the assertion of causality. So he gave a fallacious line of reasoning defending causality. Wow. Is there, is there more good stuff here? How many times oh, have I yeah, told you, Tom? Uh, when they, when maybe they I need to fast forward a bit, but yeah, he absurdity. starts talking about uh, Laura or Cliff B, Jumper. Which is to he has this really cringy game. I got like multiple alts on the server. How many times have you seen so. this? Too many times. Way too many times. What's that more? I said it was an interesting discussion, however chart lift it was. How is it, how is it even entertaining? I well, mean, Dark, you resorted to- multiple, many multiple warnings to stop Darth, over you fucking. Them. <laughs> I had to ask <laughs> the same, <laughs> I had to ask several questions four and five times. Darth, I don't even understand how it's entertaining to you anymore. It's like the ones that you're resorting to, are they're so stupid that they can't even be humiliated. I mean, your goal is to humiliate people, but you've gotten so lazy that you're not even playing with fucking real mice anymore. They're just like a what, toy why do you call him? Why do you call him Darth? His name is Gary. He doesn't uh, do it to be entertained. His name is Gary Milne, and he's yeah, from New York. Doesn't he want to? Doesn't he want to humiliate people? Though he's like humiliating. He's a he's wife beater. Did you know that? He beat up his he's... wife and he beat up his children. He's a he's a horrible. Fire, Brown, shut your fucking ass. ass. Wait, shut up, Jesus. What did you say, Sydney? Go ahead, Sydney. Oh, I was talk. telling you about Gary Milne, this crazy Christian who pretends to be DD on, on, on in the server. He's a uh, um, a horrible, horrible human being whose wife. Wait. How left do you know him you know many, that? many years ago. How do you know um, he's I, a actually, wife? How, how do you know, you know he's a wife? How, 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 how do you know? I'm not going to finish telling you. I'm just curious. Obviously. I, I, how do you know I'm in the middle of a sentence okay, telling you? Go ahead and say it. Don't wait, wait, what do, you mean, what do you mean obviously? I mean, server obviously, mute, yeah. Beckle! Server mute, Beckle! 
Go uh, ahead, Sidney. Okay, Sorry okay. for the rude interruption. Yo, sh uh, everyone, shut your fucking mouth. All yeah, right. Sure. So, so this 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 person who um, spends his time insulting and slandering people on the internet, trying to hide behind a keyboard as uh, w with silly names like Darth Dawkins and Duncan Schmatism and EF and Effeminate something or other, whatever his names are. Well, he is actually a real person with an, by the name of Gary Milne. Gary Milne has a history, a violent history. Gary Milne pretends to be a Christian. And at the same time, Gary Milne bullies people not only on the internet, but in real life itself. Now, what happened between uh, Gary Milne, Mr. Christian Values, and with a family and lots of kids and uh, everything, what happened? Well, Mr. Christian Values doesn't have any Christian values, as it turns out. Mr. Christian Values is an absolute fraud, Gary Milne. You're a fucking fraud. You're a hoax. You're a bully. You're an internet bully. You're a piece of shit. You're a horrible human being. You give, you give Christians the crazy name that they what, have. What did today. he do to his family? What did he do to his family? Well, um, his his wife um, and him got into it for something, for some reason or other, because he's a very violent, abusive man towards his children. Yeah. I think, and, he, I think he cheated on yeah, her. Yeah, he cheated There's on an her. Interview oh, he cheated did. on his wife? Oh, Christian yeah, value number yeah. one. <laughs> There's an interview. Are you claiming no one is beyond salvation, sir? There's an interview with uh, Carol Snow or Carol Milton, Carol E. Snow, Carol Milton. She's, uh, she's his ex-wife. There's an interview with her where she's talking about. Yes, I actually have seen that. I have it. I have that, that interview. Thing. You know, one thing I do gotta say is you got you had an okay looking wife though, Darth. How'd you do that with your fat gut? Oh shit. Um, I think, it, right. I think she, cut, she cut out his she cut him out of all the family photos because she was so disgusted by him. But to be fair, the roles oh, like yeah, he gets a beat not, wife he, I think he's estranged from his entire family. Like he's not in any of his kids' wedding pictures on their Facebooks or anything. Listen, oh, he, Darth, he he went to he went to jail or he's or he attacked his son, or his son attacked him, or something happened in uh, in Florida down there where uh, there was some police action. Police were called. Yeah, his and son were... got arrested. Yeah. Darth, have you, I don't even know if, if Darth wasn't involved in that. He might not even know about that. Darth, did you know that David, uh, we have his mug shots and arrest records for assault in Florida? Um, but uh, Darth, you know, he, he had his first, his first grandchild was born last year and i don't think he's even met his first grandchild because his kids don't want anything to do with him oh, have you met the grandkid oh. the baby well, the baby I... grandson was yes. born last year this is where the, hip the hypocrisy comes in mr christian values preach 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 yet yet behind the mask what do we have we got a, a green curtain with some idiot behind it that's, That's not a contradiction with the Christian worldview. You can still repent and change your no, ways. Christi Christianity is so mute stupid that, that it doesn't talk to me about it. Server mute that shit. Anyway. Um, Darth. Uh, what about your son, Andrew? He had to, Did he have to go live in a group home because you were, like, verbally abusive to him? You used to call him stupid and stuff? He had a, yes, when his son was very young, uh, I believe he had some autistic tendencies. Darth, I mean, Gary Milne used to uh, uh, humiliate his son in front of others by calling him stupid. Why are you so stupid, you little autistic kid? Yeah. Yeah, he and, and here he has an audience on this, on this platform. He has an audience where people listen to him preaching uh, his, his hypocrisy. Wow. Darth has such, he's so ashamed that he has an autistic son. He has such deep disdain for his stupid autistic son that he used to uh, uh, fucking abuse, verbally and emotionally abuse the autistic son by calling him stupid and getting him frustrated when he couldn't make simple inferences. So that's one of the reasons he comes on the internet to uh, bully atheists, stupid atheists, just to take out some of the rage he has at his incompetent son and the shame he has for himself that something like that could come from him. You know, I, I think bullying atheists is fine. We can all handle it. But when he bullies the the um, disabled and he bullies people who are handicapped 
that is when it crosses that red line and it's a very thin red line and he crosses it over and over and over again. When he personally humiliates and insults disabled people, that's when I'm done with him. Yeah, there's been so many times he'll be like to an atheist, do you have Down syndrome? It's like, no, but your son does. Does it run in the family? Yeah, uh, I mean, he says some like really fucked up shit about transgenders as well. If you fast forward a little bit into my video, you can just hear him. He has this like cringy game he plays on the server daily called What Is That? And he makes fun of transgenders like daily, yeah, basically. What, what? He, uh, I don't know if you know, who, I don't know if you know who Laura Cliffjumper is, but uh, he made fun of her and they called her like a raggedy rag doll and a bunch of oh, nasty. And he lives with his mom. He's like God, 60 years old. Oh, yeah. uh, why are you uh, listening? Uh, I won't speak up. Are you a little bitch? Scared? Yeah. Uh, yes, he is. <laughs> is it because you're terrified of Jack Gangstrike that he's hiding under your yeah, bed I'll right kill now? You, Darth. I'm gonna come and kill you. I'm gonna come and kill you during the revolution. That's enough. So uh, Yuri, Yuri, let's not get carried away. Be quiet, Yuri. You just don't talk for a while, all right? But Godless, it's more than he's just living with his mom. Communism right? he's, he's leeching off of his mom because he doesn't want to get a real job. Well, you he's, know probably, how, he's too fucking you mentally ill how, to get a real uh, job. You know how we found all this out about Darth? Darth was so stupid that he doxxed himself by fucking, what a retard. He knows we know where his state and his first name and the, his approximate age. He goes and he says, oh, because he, he fucking hates transgenders. He goes and he says, oh, I came from a high school where the uh, first transgender ever in the history of America uh, teacher came out publicly as a transgender. So it's like all we had to do was Google who the first transgender teacher was, see what high school she went to, what, what high school she was from, and then like search through the um, approximate year of Gary's graduation date for Gary's first name. And then we saw Gary Milne. Darth, you're so stupid. Which, which is why he chose Christianity. Because Christianity is stupid. Gary's stupid. Ta ching. Daughter, uh, Darth, you have a daughter in, in her early her, her early twenties. Yes, he, he has hot daughters, but they won't talk to him. Oh, did you guys see his son? His son David uh, said that his dad needs to get a job. I told his son David, I have an audio recording of your dad telling me to go overdose on heroin. I'm an ex addict, and he goes, Yeah, my dad's not a very good person. He needs to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Your son's sexy too, Darth. I might meet him, meet up with him one day and fuck him. <laughs> I might meet up with your son, fuck him, Darth. I don't normally top boys. But maybe I'd make an exception just to make you. We need to get JJ. Uh, we need to get JJ in the works to fuck his daughter, though. That's that's the plan. Well, well, I'm gonna fuck his daughter. Uh, the only gonna... the only case where uh, a a a boy, a fucking male and a female having sex isn't degrading to the female, but it's degrading to the male, is if I fuck your son. That's the only time it's degrading to the male, Darth, because I'm going to go fuck him just because he's your son. <laughs> Someone should have, like, fuck um, Darth's daughter and do, like, a Matt Slick situation. Too Jesus Christ. You guys are brutal. Oh, it's been coming for years. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I love it. I love it. I just love all this hatred and brutality. Where I mean, I hate video. <laughs> In the words of Christianity, what is truth, sir? Darth is such an evil human being. Well, Tom doesn't have a job. Oh my God, his fucking. You know, he feels like such a failure because his dad. Georgetown University, that's a prestigious university. His father graduated from Georgetown University uh, as a dentist. And poor Darth couldn't even make it to college. And he had to end up, like, making fucking dentures in his basement. And then his business went bankrupt, and he had to move in with his mother. So, um, how did Jesus figure in all this there, uh, Gary? Milne? Was he with you? Was 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 Jesus behind you all the way through every failure? He this this Gary Milne is a low life trailer trash piece of shit. No matter who his uh, what his lineage is in terms of is that silly? education. 
that does I mean, he has a beautiful family though like you see the wife has moved on she's got like she's well, of course. well the fact that they've moved uh, on has been the beautiful best beautiful season. firstborn grandson his daughter's at a beautiful <laughs> wedding uh david's uh in florida he has a successful career and then there's just everybody's normal successful attractive and then there's fat loser bankrupt darth narcissist and his whole family hates him like his whole family is it's his perfect picture perfect christian family but except for darth darth just ruins everything that for that fucking family they have to wear that badge of shame by cropping him out of family photos on his facebook god this this black wow. guy god this this black guy you were walking back and forth and this fucking black guy was just staring at you <laughs> He was like logging into the KFC and he was just fucking staring at you, screaming about it. Yeah, it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, are you guys in public? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Beckles, Beckles gone. Darth, remember how upset you were when I found out your fucking cat's name, Boo? And then I made the Hangouts oh, Boo, fuck. Boo the Cat account. And then I made another one on Discord, Discord, Boo the Cat. And it was so funny when I found your fucking docs, I show up and renamed the account Boo Milne. And then you knew I knew. <laughs> and I felt like I, that's, that's the moment I that's won genius. against Darth. The moment I oh, felt victory bad. over you. Right the moment I felt victory over you, Darth, after seven fucking years was when I showed up with the Boo Milne account. That's fucking genius. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him. We got him. Oh my god, that's so funny because that's exactly uh, the night uh, they, we figured it out. They figured it out. Jack brought me and Josh into a private voice channel. And Jack said, we got him. And I, like, I was in disbelief. I didn't believe him because there was other times we spent, uh, we and thought we were on the lead and then we were on. But I just remember they Jack saying, we got him. Too. And then we spent like the next six hours just like looking at his family's Facebook and what a clown he is. We loved Ladies it. Oh, it was one of the best nights of my yeah. life. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fat <laughs> pig. Darth used to call me fat. Look at his, it's that picture's from the 80s. You can, we, have, we don't have a picture of Darth, but we'll get, we'll get one one day. I'm going to get one from David. But we do have a picture of his stomach in the 80s because his wife cropped him out, and he's holding his autistic, retard, Down syndrome kid, son Andrew, oh, in the fuck. picture. And his fat, fat, fat stomach oh. is sticking into the picture. And, I mean, if you had a fat, fat stomach in the 80s, what do you look like now, Darth? Sitting in your fucking mother's basement on the Internet. Screaming at atheists. Do you ever leave the house, Darth? Jesus Christ. Godless is just having a field day with this. Yo, <laughs> Godless, how excited were you the day that you guys figured it out? I can't imagine Jack. What What was Jack like when he was figured uh, where you doxed him, where you got the dog? Jack probably, oh, Jack probably oh, came. What Jack feels right now, Jack. What do you feel right now? This is hilarious. Yo, Jack, I love you, man. We've been waiting for this so long, bro. I love you. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, what, oh, yeah, what do you think about? explains, like, yeah, yeah. Darth, usually, Darth usually runs, but Jack, what do you think explains right now him sitting here and taking all this abuse? Well, it's like when he comes in under fake accounts in order to listen to people talk about Darth, you were so stupid. You used to just change the name of your sock account instead of just like making a new account. So we would always know it was your sock account. And we'd, we'd see you come in after like Jack chased you away. We'd see you come in and listen to us mock you on the sock account. And like you thought you're all uh, undercover. We didn't know you were in there. We knew the entire time, you fucking clown. Oh, this is beautiful. Wait, so what's going on? Like, um, like They're fucking destroyed. This guy came in who was, like, shit-talking Darth, and then it just turned into, like, a... Uh, how is it called? Ten Minutes of Hate? Against this is, Darth. Uh, 
this is an interrogation. All right, we're based. This is basically Guantanamo Bay right now. Hey, Jack, are are you masturbating right now? No. Is, is anyone not? Mm. What the fuck's wrong? Oh, oh. seriously. JJ came in to do the JJ. Everybody's already finished. <laughs> Darth, like you live with your mother. Um, so did she get it? Like it's weird. Like, did your daughter send her wedding invitation to the same address you live at, but you didn't get one? Like you didn't get to go to the wedding? <laughs> Uh, to be honest, I'd rather just talk about, you know, that those arguments that you were running about with that guy that you replayed about causality, because I, I don't think your view makes any sense there, Darth. Oh, come on. Josh is ruining it. Oh, my God. <laughs> fucking, um, <laughs> you know how Darth loves Trump? His son hates Trump. His son is always posting these anti-Trump things to uh, his Facebook, and I think that might have been part of what they're falling out was order. But I mean, your son just has deep disdain for you. He thinks you're right. He said himself that you're a piece of shit. Isn't Ve you is Vecco a black guy? He is right. Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, and his wife. It's is just Korean. insane. It's just insane that he would like come here. And, um, and like it's clear as day and well documented that Darth is just like a big fucking yeah, racist transfer. It's Uncle Veckel to you. Yeah, Veckel also supports Trump if that tells you anything. Yeah, I mean Veckel. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you didn't expect the Uncle Tom read, did you? I mean. <laughs> Sydney, what are we Sydney, did we cover everything? Oh, I don't know. We covered everything that uh, that I can think of and that we know right now. But there's a lot that uh, has not been covered because Gary Milne is covering it up. Yeah, but didn't she say that he was beating uh, her, uh, his wife, or whatever? He was, his wife said his wife said that he was abusive, but we don't know if that was like emotional or physical abuse or what. I mean, that's pretty believable based on the way he acts. So, and she's such a nice lady too. What what could she have done for you to be abusive towards her, Darth? Well, what does anybody do verbally abusive? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's she's definitely... dumb enough to date Darth. And then marry him, so I'm sure she can't be the smartest person. And, and, she had, and she had kids with Darth, remember that. <laughs> That's another one. I wonder if uh, he was sexually abusive. Darth, you have uh, five kids. Uh, Darth, I, I, I guarantee that you have tried to gaslight your wife and your fucking kids. <clears throat> yeah, I was. I uh, messaged your son in law about you too. What does your son in law think of you, Darth? This is just hilarious because he's playing inside his cake. Does Darth have a sister? I don't know. He has a sister, but I don't know if he has any brothers. But what a failure. I mean, you're fucking. He, he, like, it's, it's funny. His dad is a dentist from Georgetown University. And then Darth can't graduate college and he has to fucking make dentures. And, like, he, in his, then his, he can't even do that right. He can't even fucking make teeth in his basement. The, he goes out of business and has to declare bankruptcy. And move in with his mom. Are you are you abusive towards your mom, Darth? I wonder about that. I mean, yeah, like, he's probably, like, it's like his life is probably like the most pathetic constellation of events I've ever heard, you know, like, Fucking almost sixty year old man lives with mother, all his kids don't like him. Yeah, no one his likes wife, him really his wife like she did a good job moving on though. She's got a successful boyfriend. Doesn't he own like a helicopter or yeah, something? I keep seeing pictures of them. They, oh, she looks that so must happy. be hilarious. Oh, oh my Her lord. Imagine Darth. So happy with yeah. other guys. Oh, oh that's so hilarious. Just imagine just just imagine him like Scrolling through photos of his uh, of his wife's um, boyfriend taking her on a helicopter rides while he's at home, like yeah, you gotta see this guy. Too. He's fucking like, 
you gotta see this guy. He's fucking good. Well, I don't know if it's a helicopter. He's some sort of pilot. He has some sort of piloting license because I think oh, that's, <laughs> that's just flying, I think that he was flying a pri- private plane, right? Or his own. Yeah, but he's uh, the guy's fucking good looking too. He's like he's like skinny and tall. He's like for an older guy, you know. He's oh no, that is beautiful. This is a, this was like new information that just makes it a lot better. Oh fuck. Oh, and we know that Dart's ashamed of the fact, like, his marriage fell apart and stuff, because we have audio recordings of him saying, Oh, I've been married for 27 years! Well, that's a fucking lie, because you got divorced in 2012. Why are you lying, Darth? Are you embarrassed? I want to talk to David. Why the fuck would you talk to you? Huh? Why would anyone? Did you hear what I said, Young? Yeah, to David, the Marcus David, or the David uh, regarding information Darth about Darth? No, 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 Darth's son, David. But what? David's, but what? David's okay. pretty busy, though. He only responds to messages sometimes. Oh, okay. I know the last time somebody asked him about doing, like, an interview, he wasn't thrilled with the idea, so... Yeah, Darth. but then he messaged me back and said, well, can I just do, like, a live text interview? He doesn't want to do it in uh, voice. Do- He's, willing, uh, he's gonna what, sell out his father for two hundred dollars. Gigi, I have a question for you. Uh, what, who do you think what? is a better parent between Darth Dawkins and Von Helton? Let Let Jackie speak. She wanted to say something. Oh uh, no, I was just asking like, what is yeah, David? Like, what what did he do? Is he in like medical or technology? I or think what? Yeah, I think he's some kind of medical student. I, I see him in Scrubs. I'm not sure though. But uh, he's really busy all the time. He's successful. He moved out. Of, he, had to, he had to get so far away from his father that he had to move to Florida. Uh, he does have a little bit of Darth's rage in him, though, because we do have some arrest records where, with a misdemeanor assault and mug shots. Unless that was just because, like, you went down to Florida to visit him and then a physical altercation ensued, Darth. Is that what happened? Or is, or does Darth just, or does David just have a little uh, EF aggression in him? I mean, yeah, entirely possible, huh? He's not going to respond. Yeah, that's obvious. Know. No one yeah, can figure, figure that down. one out without that being stated by Pogan. Silence, just a bad actor. Uh, Silent, I'm gonna stuff. use my mods on you if you keep going after Pogan. <laughs> okay. I'm not. This that is... wasn't a joke. I really, I fucking, I have deep personal contempt for you, and I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I don't think he's joking. Darth, do you think you'll ever meet uh, your firstborn grandson? Congratulations, by the way. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> That's a slam. Tesla, so what do you think about this? Oh, I think that my coffee's are just delicious, man. We gotta get some more. I'll be right back. Does somebody have a link to uh, his wife? There's this video of his wife on a stage talking about uh, men committing adultery. Uh, can, somebody, can we play a little audio Ooh. clip of that? So we have the yes, list. please. Ooh. Um. And she's like psychologizing about abusive men. It's hilarious. And, and, and uh, unfaithful men is hilarious. In 10 minutes. Shut the fuck up, Scott. What, is Darth just like, gone fucking silent or something? Yeah, uh, yeah he isn't uh, speaking. It's like, Darth, your family, it's just like, you have an attractive family, and then there's you, your fat gut. You have a, a devout Christian family, like, they're all really nice people. Uh, except then there's you, the piece of shit. You had a successful, uh, you had a successful father. Your wife is successful. She has a successful boyfriend who's a pilot. And then there's you, 
who can't even fucking graduate college and goes bankrupt. You're just like deficient in every way. I mean, is there any way in which you're even competent, remotely competent relative to your family? You're just a fucking piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Did you going in? Like you're just deficient in every way you can be relative to your family. is actually there if you just cry which is why i mean your family it's just like you're already so like d d fucking you're just a total piece of shit in your family's eyes which is why you don't get off the internet when you know that uh you being your presence here is just gonna uh make us talk to them on facebook more right the reason you're still here is because that you can't be more of a piece of shit in their eyes so this the internet humiliating atheist that's all you have you have nothing else. You don't have a family. Your family doesn't want to speak to you. You have no interest, nothing to do. Foul business, living with your fucking mother. And all you have, all you have is discord. That's your whole life. That's why you won't give it up. You won't give it up even though we're fucking c calling your wife on the phone. Former wife. He doesn't have a wife. I mean, you won't give up attacking weak atheists to save your family the heartbreak of having us fucking call the, their phones and play your soundboard saying, telling them to fuck off. Your wife was like, Gary, why are you doing this? <laughs> you were like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, you troll, said the soundboard to Carol Snow. And she said, Gary, why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, I feel bad for laughing. It's like almost like it would be. It would be sad if Darth wasn't an awful person. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's Darth, like... just just do one, just do one fucking good deed, decent deed in your life. Get off the fucking internet so that your wife doesn't have to hear you tell her to fuck off. It's like, you know, his life is like something that will like come up in like some story, you know, like about a loser. And you just like really like if you're a writer, you just really exaggerate how much of a loser he is. You just like take the worst possible uh, kind of yeah, situation. Yeah, it's like so bad. It's like so bad you couldn't yeah, even it's, make it's, it. Yeah, That's it's how like, bad. It's, it's so like, fucking bad you couldn't even make It's worse than something you would make up about somebody. That's how yeah, bad yeah, what yeah. piece of shit he is. Hey, Beckles back. Oh, yeah, Beckles. Beckles, do, Beckle, do, uh, do you remember me by chance? Beckles, why do you uh, want to, like, protect Darth? Oh, what's you guys hear Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, take your call overall, though. Am I, am I muted now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Darth, I promise you. I mean, you're going to fucking croak soon. You're morbidly obese. You're fucking 60. You're not going to live much longer. But I promise you, I will be sure that when your grandson grows up, he hears their fucking videos. I will find him. I will track him down. And your firstborn grandson, who he'll never even meet. He'll never know you. All he's really going to know about you, other than the shit your family tells him, is the fucking videos that are uh, permanently on the internet forever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show him your videos, your firstborn grandson. And he's going to be ashamed that he came from your bloodline because you're such a piece of shit. Uh, permanently yeah, he's available. Learn is from your mistakes. Wow. Permanently available is subject to YouTube terms and conditions. So much hatred. Yeah, guys, this is probably, probably not turn good. Out to be an when he sees this Christian fucking debating bullshit presuppositionalist garbage, he might turn out to be an atheist. Like David. Eh, not if God has like anything Rachel to do with it. Slick. Jesus, no, oh. this is so fucking brutal. I have not seen brutality like this like before. This is crazy. Uh, Josh is getting turned on. Yeah, they're gonna fuck violently what, after what that. What was that? Josh wanted to start talking about Darth's presuppositionalism. Did you hear that? Why did you do that? 
Well, I think. Baby, why aren't you making fun of him? Do you feel sorry for him? Uh, <laughs> it's a conversation that's been had many, 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 many times. Josh, 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 just say yes. <laughs> well, I think that uh, I think that he could be embarrassed more intellectually than a lot of this stuff. Uh, see, that's all he has is his intellect, right? So, I mean, you can add all this stuff onto. Point out how his view doesn't make any sense. But he, he doesn't really have much intellect. You're constantly getting crushed and having to run away from uh, the majority of atheists you come across and then just attack the really stupid weak ones because you're feeble. Um, <laughs> no one here can defeat Darth's position. I just wanted to point that out really quick. Carry on. Wait, why is Darth in here instead of going crushing some weak atheist? He, uh, he, does he like the abuse? Does he, like, get off on this in some way? He uh, likes the abuse, he yes. He, he your does. Mother, your mother can't live much longer, right? So oh, what you, you don't like the abuse. Are you going oh, to inherit, you like inherit the, the house? Are you going to inherit the house from your mother? But you're going to have to go into a nursing home soon because you're 60 years old and you're morbidly obese. No, Nobody in your family wants to take care of you. They're not even going to visit you in the state nursing home to be oh, sure that you're not God. being abused and neglected. You're going to die being abused and neglected oh, by, fucking, Lord. by Lord. fucking atheist nurse technicians in the fucking state nursing home. They're going to let you relentless. sit in your own shitty diaper, oh, Darth, and your kids aren't even going to ever check up on you. This is brutal. This may be like this is almost a... like over a line. Oh, you. This is completely really ruthless. I like the young thing. <laughs> this is over the line. This is you know almost how, like you know this is approaching people, the line. I you know how some people like to choke themselves when they masturbate. I think that's what Darth's doing. <laughs> I like some BDSM shit, like hardcore verbally on the internet. <laughs> I just I don't get it. Right, like he has his own little server where he can cultivate. His little set of faggots. I don't really understand why he's in here to to be abused. Yeah, he might be a recording little... too, though. Oh, okay. limited on the supply. Nobody oh, will go to his. I'm sure Godless is really worried. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure Godless is. No. I mean, but Darth, really think about what do you think Darth's faith fate is? Right, his mother's gonna die. He's gonna have to. He's gonna need somebody to take care of him as he gets older and fatter. He's sixty and fucking morbidly obese. You know, he doesn't have many years left. But he's gonna end up in a state fucking nursing home, and he's gonna die alone, sitting in his own shit. And slowly, his limbs, his limbs are gonna have to be because of, of no use. His legs are gonna have to be amputated first because they just they just dangle in. It's gonna be like his family. Probably, his, family his, family have, <laughs> his family's not even gonna have a fucking funeral. Don't it's forget like, the high blood pressure from all that anger. Oh, that's, that's a killer. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's gonna burst one day. Any thoughts on this, Michael? Like, his family might have not a funeral, but some, like, gathering. I, th I, I think he needs to be raptured real soon. But there'll be just... that air, that in the air. Have you ever been to one of those funerals of a uh, somebody who died that was a piece of shit? And, like, I really, nobody wants to say anything bad about him. They only want to say good things about him. But there's just this air of fakeness and awkwardness yeah. in the air that everybody's aware of, but nobody can say. What? But I mean, do they even have good shit they can make up about you, Dark? Like, what good things can they say about you? It'll be like going to the funeral of a serial killer. Jiro. <laughs> <laughs> What they do in those cases is they, like, take those things that made the person, like, shitty, and they, like, try to, like, word them in a way in which it's, like, a virtue. So they'd be like, what did I know about Darth? Well, he always played by his own rules. He didn't yeah. let anyone else tell him what to do. <laughs> yeah, they try to, you know, give these euphemisms. Like, how are they going to do your funeral, Tom? Know, you know, he was just a... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Dio's trying to snipe Tom. Yeah, Dio is spy for well, even Tom. At, well, even after you die, though, you are forever more immortalized on the internet as the yeah. fucking clown. The, people are still going to be watching those videos decades from now after you're dead, laughing at you. That's right. Right. Yeah. It's bad. Gigi, if you were, if you were to know where it was, would you? Try to show up at Darth's funeral. No, it won't be a funeral, it'll be a party. No. Come on, there's gotta be a line, Jesus. 
Yeah, we'll get Shameless to go and fuck his mom. Oh, uh, well, the only reason I might, if they were, like, doing an open casket and I was never able to get my hands on his picture, I might show up just to see what he fucking looked like out of curiosity. Just to laugh at him. Because I know you're a fat, ugly troll. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, do not fuck with Gigi. Well, the reason that Darth, that Gary Milne doesn't have his own server anymore, he might still have it, but he said that nobody will go in there. Because as soon as somebody walks in there and opens a mouth, um, they're banned, they're muted, they're, they're castigated, they're humiliated and insulted. So that kind of a, was a huge failure. Majority of um, us that are active in this server, Firebrand, are banned permanently from that server. So, yeah, yeah. You know, people like to hypothesize. Maybe he, you know, he comes in here to get atheists to debate him on his server, right? But like three fourths of us are banned. So is he trying? Like, what does he expect? What he Look, expects us out, all to uh, accept? Ammunition. I don't know if I got anything left. Sydney, post your link. Maybe there's something I left out. Post me your your <laughs> website. Let me see if I left something out. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm just imagining, you. like, Godless dry, dry firing an assault rifle for, like, 40 rounds. <laughs> I'm going to uh, give you the category. Oh, I, I see the crop picture where he's holding the, the autistic son. Yeah, I just sent yeah. it to you. It was so funny. Remember, Darth, remember before we had your docs? I figured out that you had a fucking autistic son or a Down syndrome kid because you used to always say, I have a disabled kid, and then on separate occasions, you'd always talk about Down syndrome or call people Down syndrome. So I put two and two together. Remember that night I was speculating in the hangout, uh, and you were going fucking crazy in the wild, in the fucking live chat? That that's why you, I said, that's why you come on here and abuse atheists. And I, everyone was like, no, God, let's, you, that's, you're just t totally speculating. That's not true. He doesn't have an autistic son. I was right. I was right. You have a retard. Your kid is a retard. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Hey. Real quick, you know who's in Darth's server right now? MK. Oh, Man, I'm, not, I'm not gonna insult this kid. I'm gonna insult Darth. Fucking MK, please. A little bit of moderation, MK, please. How do you know that Satan isn't putting that thought in your head? Ha, Sydney Winston's got a picture of date your son David next to Kathleen Tanner. <laughs> oh, that's that's very good. Ah, uh, Sydney, come on, man. That's not David, that's Darth. That's Gary uh, Mill. That will be hilarious. Well, until somebody David proves David. me wrong, that's Gary Mill. I don't know. What can Ima I say? Imagine a video of David getting fucked by Kathleen Tanner. That would be hilarious to send it to Oh, her. no. But, but he's oh. too old for her now. Oh, yikes. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Anybody above the age of like nine is off limits. Okay, so it says who, on, on Gary yeah. Milne's page. In Gary Milne's page, we have who is this monster? His name is Gary Milne. This abusive piece of garbage. Gary Milne publicly humiliated his autistic child. Think about it. An autistic child is traumatized for life thanks to Daddy Gary. Of course, Andrew is an adult now, although still living in a group home. <laughs> yes, that is why the son had to be put into a group home, and that is why his wife divorced him. Gary committed adultery on his wife. Gary Milne also assaulted his wife. His wife divorced him. He, uh, what else do we know about Gary Milne? He has a fat gut. Gary Milne has wait, inferiority. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Gary Milne has daddy issues. This is why Gary is so extremely violent. I have a legit question. How do you know that he assaulted his wife, though? I, I want to know. No, we don't. We don't. But if he if he wants to clear up any of these misconceptions, he can open his big fat mouth. Wait, wait, wait do we know there. that he cheated oh. on his wife? Yeah. Right, and then he, 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 it what says, write Gary Milne and tell him what you wife. think of him. Inform all his neighbors who this vile, ex-evil ex Christian really is behind his fake exterior. And then we have your neighbor's addresses. So Hillbilly and Gary have cheated on their wives. Interesting. Wait, so what did he do to his kid again? I'm sorry, I missed that. God damn it, uh, Simon. His kid had to be put into a group home because he was abusive. Oh my god. His family is all, I mean, above 
average in a physical attractiveness. He, I don't know why, because Darth <laughs> is so fucking ugly. I think my favorite thing about it, about this whole thing, is um, his wife's um, boyfriend being rich and like attractive. That's ah, Sydney Winston, you're fucking witty. Listen to this shit. Gary Mill. The, uh, Gary Milne is a grumpy old man. This turns out to be the mother of all ironies. Here's why. Gary Milne is a dental hygienist by trade, hence his job is to help people smile. Although no one that this author is aware of has seen Gary's real life image, he certainly does not smile on panel. The dental hygienist man that never smiles hides behind his keyboard. From behind his keyboard, he slings insults at others who do not believe the same Christian fundamentalist approach to scripture fiction as he does. This is, and then there's a picture of his house. <laughs> this is where he spews his venom from. It used to be such a nice neighborhood until Darth Dawkins moved in. Gary Milne, as I now understand the situation, lives in New Jersey. I have been told that he was perhaps still uh, owns a dental lab and in, in business in uh, New Jersey, which is false because it went out of business. He had to declare bankruptcy. Okay, guys, I ran out of ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was like uh, 25 minutes, though, wasn't it? That was yeah, great. Like, that, was that was good, Gigi. You really stepped up.